I think we like for the most part, I think he came up with our handshake, uh, but for the most part with Jordan, we, we kind of like just, I don't know, made it up and then we kind of just went along with it. How much yeah. time is, you know, it's just stupid questions that are all meant to life and anything, but how much time do you guys put into come up with that? Probably like a good 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it almost takes as much time to do the handshake <laughs> as it did to plan the handshake. Plan it, yeah, awesome. for real. <laughs> Yeah. I apologize. I know you're asking yeah, this you're earlier, good. but could you tell us a little bit more about your injury? Uh, it's, I wouldn't call it an injury. It's not really an injury. It's more uh, so just tweaked it a little bit. Um, like I said, if we was to have a game today, I'd definitely be playing. Um, could have practiced today even, but it's just more so trying to not to like go out there and be like, okay, yeah, I feel good, and then tweak it and make it more than what it is. Um, so yeah, they just showing love to me, man. It's year six. Um, you know, yeah. Let's get that veteran rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you have any plans to take the field during family night? Um, I don't know exactly what the plans are. I know that, like I said, they be trying to protect me from me um, just because I tend to like to, you know, practice hard. Um, but like I said, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I'm going to feel the atmosphere and all of that, and I'm going to want to do everything. Um, but it's August 1st, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. you get any say in that or no? Yes and no. Like I, <laughs> like I said, I, if it was my choice, I would have I would have went today. So that's just one of the things that they just trying to uh, make sure is maintained and don't make a, a small issue a bigger issue. You feel like the offense is kind of hitting its stride here a bit now. Oh yeah, you definitely can see it coming together a lot more. Um, you know, it's been a while since everybody's been in pads. You know, and it's been a, what officially like a week uh, now since we've been in them. And um, you know, people starting to settle in, um, getting used to hitting again, and um, getting used to doing proper technique with um, you know. With, with, uh, with each other um, and just trying to play smart, practice smart, and um, have fun while we're doing it. So it's, it's been good. I started talking to Marshawn Lloyd off, uh, after one of the plays. Have you been kind of in his ear giving him advice as he gets back from this injury? Yeah, man, I, I always try to help him out. You know, um, I feel like being a vet, um, especially, you know, for the for rookies, it's always Im important to just teach them, you know, how, how it is to be a pro, um, how it is to, you know, go about the day to day. And um, if they have any type of questions or anything, help them. And um, it's a funny thing about Marshawn. I actually talked to Marshawn for the first time, like 2019. Like um, I just, I just found, I just told him this the other day. Um, I had messaged him, and I was like, man, I, I like your game. And uh, <laughs> we kind of went back and forth a little bit. And I was like, dang, it's crazy how I kind of come full circle like that. But uh, yeah, man, I, I think he's gonna be a, a, a very good back in this league. Um, I'm just trying to help him, you know, maximize his potential. What did you see in him? Was he what 18 back then? 17? Yeah, I don't remember what oh, exactly. Uh, like um, when exactly I seen him. I remember watching the video and I had hit him up. I had DM'd him and I was like, just you know, send him some motivation. Um, that was my rookie year in the league, and I was just sending him some motivation. And uh, we kind of like chopped it up a little bit back and forth. And um, so when he came in, I was like, bro, I know I didn't talk to you before or something like that. And I went and looked, and I was like, oh, yeah, I did. I, we, we had DM each other back in 2019. So, yeah, that's dope. So I've heard a kind of non-football one again, but going back to jerseys, I saw you within the you were in the promo wearing it. Was <laughs> yeah. that your first time wearing a Packers game uniform? Yeah, it was. That was so that was my first time in the uniform. Um, and obviously, that was a lot of our first time seeing the helmet. Um, but yeah, man, I was looking at it, I was like, dang, I thought the jerseys was like, I thought it was like a, a different uh, colorway jerseys, like an uh, alternate. And it was like, nah, these are the ones we playing. I'm like, so we get to play in these, they clean. Like, so <laughs> it's been fun, man. I can't wait to officially do it. A little extra pressure that week to win so you can get some deviations in the future. <laughs> and I'm sure they'll shut that down if it doesn't go well. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, man. I can't wait till we put on the white helmets, though, man. I mean, uh, I already told them, I said, uh, hopefully they'll let me keep it after the game. Uh, since we only were in it one time, I was like, yeah, I I'm going to need to uh, put that one up, for sure. That's a big difference with silver and black. Nah, it is. It is a big difference, but man, that's. I don't think I've ever really just wore white, like even the little league. So it's gonna be dope to be able to change up, get some good, uh, fresh look. <laughs> what have you been told about the family? And I, I know that you know they think Josh probably said stuff about it, but what have you been told about it? What are you most excited for? Yeah, I mean, obviously I've seen like um, just practice film, and how the stadium look. Um, you know, everybody always tell me how it's like a game, basically. Like everybody comes out, um, they tailgate. I mean, you already see people tailgating now for it. Um, so, man, I think it's just dope, like, to be able to have that much support um, behind, you know, the team and um, to be able to see that the community comes in. And so love, I think it's uh, definitely something that keeps us motivated and uh, something that makes us work a little harder. I know you're in a new team, new situation, but 
when you look back at your tape from last year, what did you see? What What did you think you needed to do differently to kind of bounce back? Uh, I would say I was kind of, I kind of like at least for the I would say the first three games, it was definitely rough because you could tell like okay we had a different O line, um, but not only that like I missed basically the whole camp. So like coming in, like even the time, it was kind of off on certain things. Um, so that was probably just the biggest thing. Um, but it was time, it was kind of tough because as an offense last year, I think we didn't score like 20 points in like the first like seven games, eight games or something like that. So it was just one of them things where we just had to, you know, try to figure it out. Um, and, you know, towards the end of the year, uh, things started to get a little better. How much you kind of capitalized on this offseason, just being with a new team, game, having the full offseason and everything? How much of a payoff was that for you? Oh, yeah, man, it was, it was cool because, you know, uh, well, at least here, I think this is like one of the few times I've ever been at a place where everybody's there in the offseason, like OTAs, you know. Um, so all of the guys was in here working. So we basically had the whole team in here working. And um, to be able to spend that time with them and to be able to, you know, learn a playbook earlier and, and things like that, I think it's definitely uh, beneficial. Remember Marshawn in 2019? Yeah. <laughs> but when I watch him, I mean, he's short, but he's not small. Yeah, not at like all. You and him. At AJ, is, yeah. Is that a group that no one's gonna want to tackle in this league? It's definitely gonna be interesting. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be interesting. I think a lot of people are, uh, you know, sleep on, on on the backfield that we have. I think that, you know, it's, it's it has a very we have a very high you know uh, upside to to the group in general um, to be able to come in and you know use all of us in a certain type of way and um, be able to capitalize and specialize in our abilities and. Um, Obviously, with AJ being, you know, the vet and knowing the system, I would say the best out of all the running backs right now. Um, he he does a good job of trying to like, you know, guide us and things like that. And you know, he's also big. As hell. <laughs> so you know, he's gonna be bring that physicality. Um, you know, I like to bring that physicality too. Um, and you know, Marshawn, he he can take the top off. So it's definitely gonna be an interesting year. Any particular goals you kind of set for yourself going into this season? Uh, not really, man. I'm not really a goal setter. Um, not not in the sense of like um, long term goals. I'm more of a day to day, week to week uh, goal setter. Um, and um, to me, man, I'm just gonna try to come in and do everything I can to be as prepared as I can be, and um, try to come in and you know uh, let everything else take care of itself. What's just the biggest thing that's caught your attention about being a Green Bay Packer since you've signed? How has it been? Similar to or different from what you were expecting from talking to people during free agency? Um, I mean, it's exactly what everybody told me. <laughs> it's just kind of, which is kind of funny because you know you got to take things with a grain of salt. But it's definitely been exactly uh, everybody told me, like you know, just the community, um, how much they support, and um, you know how nice people are and things like that. And then you know the locker room, how good the team is, and how you know the young guys come in and work. And, and that's the thing that everybody was telling me the you know the whole time during the off season of how it was going to be, and it's, it's been that way so far. So, yeah.